So it's time for another modding project. Stay tuned. Alright, so welcome to the Guitar Manifesto channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, another modding project today. Um, this is a Squire Jaguar bass I acquired from eBay. Um, bit of backstory. Uh, the guy I bought it from is called Gary. He had it for quite a while with a view to um, giving it a respray re and doing a few bits on it. The paint job apparently went the best on it. There was a few holes in the body and, and on the neck and things like that. So um, he tried to have a go at himself, but yeah, it didn't turn out too pretty. He even admitted it himself. So um, I'm going to have a little run through it and I'll show you what I've got planned for it. Yeah, it's a Squire Jaguar SS Bass. Uh, short scale, it's got a P bass pickup and a jazz bass pickup. Um, I'm not sure of the year, these are normally crafted in Indonesia. Um, it's been painted on the back, so I don't know um, if I can send it down. I might be able to get the serial number on it, they're normally behind there, so I don't know what year it is. It's rosewood, so I guess it's not made this year because the newer ones are Indian laurel. Um, so these guitars, new. Again, short scale, they're 34 inch scale, 20 frets, 9.5 inch radius. So it's a PJ setup, like I said. Um, so let's go through some of the bits. So we start off with the neck. Um, he's had a go of paint on the back of it, which, uh, one thing I'd say if you want to paint the back of a neck on a guitar, uh, firstly, don't mask up the skunk stripe, just leave that as it is. Um, and I'd also wouldn't try and mask down the edge. I think the best thing to do is mask up to the corner there and then paint over that and if you want to reveal these dot markers and then I personally would just sand it down a little bit after um, or just leave it as it is but yeah you can see there there's the masking lines we can even see the maple wood so yeah not the best I'm afraid um, he said there were some holes in the the neck I'm presuming he means these he looks like he's filled them in I don't know if somebody's trying to put different tuners on it, I really don't know. So, um, In terms of this, personally I'm going to sand all this back uh, to maple uh, and around the edge. And I'll probably just leave this black, I'll just key it a bit more. And um, You also need to take out these ferrules, which actually do come out quite easy. Um, yeah, so you've... Yeah, best thing to do is take them out, don't try and mask them, take them out. If you can't get these out, get a little flat head screwdriver in there, just sort of wedge it behind one and just tap them out. They do come out really easy. Um, looks like you're taking a nut out as well, so hopefully there's a nut. Um, so we've got a load of bags here, all the parts in, hopefully the nut's in there. Um, I think what he said was it's just missing the a few of the screws for the open back tuners. But um, yeah, in terms of that, sand it back. Take this off, send it right back to the wood, um, take these folds out, and then I'll just paint the headstock um, matching colour to the body, which I'll tell you which colour I'm doing in a minute, and then I'll put a water slide decal on and then lacquer over it so that's sealed in. So, yeah, that's the neck. Um, the body, he said there was a few holes in this as well. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, I think I see one there. But, um, yeah, I think he was on the right idea um, in terms of painting it. I think I'm going to rub it down a little bit more, smooth some of this stuff off. But in terms of people who paint guitars, you, do, you don't need to rub it back to wood. You only need to key the surface, make sure it's all smooth, you know, smooth out any bad bits, and then just key the surface so the paint can stick to it. I may not even use primer, I'll probably just go with the colour I'm using and then clear coat on the top. Um, although I will take all this out. I'd rather the insides be painted. Yeah, I'll take this out. I'm not sure what colour it was originally. I don't know what that wire is. Is that the old grounding wire? Yeah, I'm painting that, so I'm not worried if I um, muck it up. I can just put some shielding paint in there anyway. So at some point it's been a, like a greeny colour. I don't know if that was the primer. Or well, at some point somebody did paint this before. Yeah, let me know, Gary, what the original colour was when you got it, because it looks like there's some sort of blue in there. I don't know if that's the primary he's using. Um, I think these are basswood bodies on these. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've had one. But yeah, in terms of this, I'll just 
sort out the odd little dent on it, fill it out as best I can, and then I'll just key the paint ready for um, ready for the top coat and what have you. You can sort of see the grains in the wood there, so it would be nice if that could come back through again. Yeah, so yeah, that's not bad, not bad condition at all. Um, the colour I'm actually going to be going for is Lake Placid Blue, or as close as I can get. I've been looking at Lake Placid Blue proper guitar paint and you work, you're looking at about £20 a can which I think is quite expensive but I could get a, a similar car paint for around I don't know £6 so I may go with that I've got plenty of lacquer so um, yeah that's the colour yeah Lake Placid Blue as close as I can get it anyway and I'll match the headstock so I think that'll look cool it's got a black pick guard so at the moment I'm going to just go with this black pick guard so I think the black against the Lake Placid Blue will look pretty sweet anyway let me open this up a bit more. Uh, yeah, so there's a pick guard. Um, you, to buy these new on eBay sort of reproductions, you're looking around £35. Um, so I'll probably just stick with that. It ain't too bad a condition. It should clean up alright. Um, or I could use this as a template and make myself a new one. But yeah, that's uh, where we go that way. So that goes there. Um, there should be a control panel be in this bag. It's marked what's what. So neck pickup ground, bridge pickup ground. Ground. Okay. Oh, I see. Then. Right. Okay. Oh, there's screws in there. Well, there's blobs of solder. Okay. So the screws are there. So I've just got to wire the jazz bass pickup in, which shouldn't be a problem. So one will be ground, and one will go to. Probably got one go to that. Uh, where are we? So. Volume. So that'll be the that be the volume control for the P bass, jazz bass, and that's the tone. So I should wire in there somewhere. That shouldn't be a problem to wire that in. So this little panel covers that gap there. So that looks sweet. So move them out of the way. Okay, what else we've got? We've even got the original strings. Um, I will reuse these because short scale bass strings are actually really expensive and um, a good way to bring these back to life is to boil them, um, obviously boiling hot water and that sort of cleans them out and when you've got them on the guitar tuned up just sort of ping them against the, um, pull them out and let them ping against the fingerboard and that gets all the crap out the the little windings there so they'll be reused that saves me a bit of money. Uh, yeah, there's the open back tuners. Them. They all look fine. These ain't actually pretty bad tuners, actually. I've, you know, I've had one of these before now. These old tunes, well, that one's a little bit bent. We'll have to bend that one back straight. Uh, yeah, they will find us. That one, you can see it there. Just need to tap it back a little bit. They should be alright, though. I've had them bend on me before and sort them out, so that's the screws for the tuners there. I've got spare ones anyway, so there's any missing. It's also got the, the sort of string tree there, that's out of the way. That goes there. And then we've got all the screws and the neck plate in this bag. Oh, and the bridge. Okay, so this ground. Uh, if he takes it in, move it out of the way. You have a ground wire that comes through, and oh, lovely. Just throw the schmuck in there. That ground wire was, should stick through and ground into the face of the bridge when you put that on. That's some polishing compound. That's all there. We've got the screws for that. Uh, got the screws for the pickups. There should be one, two, three, four, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think there's 
one of them missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that we've got all them. So we've got the screws for the pickups. That's the screws for the neck with the Squire emblem on. Okay, we've got the strap buttons. They're both there. Actually, I've got some strap locks I may put on this, so I'll probably change them over. Put all the screws for that. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I've got all the screws for the bridge. What's that done? Uh, got a little bit of wire that's trimmed off. Don't need that. And then we've got all the screws for the pit guard. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. An extra two, four. Yeah. I do not know what. But yeah, I think we we should be able to sort this out. Let me know what you think to the colour I'm going to be doing it. Obviously, if we don't know what Lake Placid Blue looks like, I'll stick a picture up now. But I'll also put a picture up of, not sure if it's a Jaguar, um, I might be able to find a picture of a P-Base, but with that colour combo, Lake Placid Blue with the black pit guard and the matching headstock, I think will look nice. Especially when the, the chrome of this pops through. That should look sweet. That will clean up nice as well. So, yeah. Uh, Gary, you didn't do a bad job. Um, just a little bit more... A uh, bit more sort of knowledge on, you know, little things like that. You can see where the paint ain't gone very well. But, yeah, it wasn't too bad a finish. I definitely wouldn't have taped that up. But, yeah, he was nearly there. Um, I probably would have sanded a little bit more. Another coat, bit of top coat, and that would have been fine. But, yeah, there we go. Easy project. And I think it would be a, a nice little addition to the Meat Manifesto channel. This would be my go-to base for all my videos. Um, I did have a glary one that I moved on, so I actually wanted something a bit more like this. I like my short scale bases, so yeah, plan of action. I'll try and maybe get it into one big video, or if you want me to do it in a couple of parts to break it down, let me know. Um, obviously, I've got to order some paint, or try and find some paint. I need to order a decal. Um, I may go with a custom sort of Robster uh, Jaguar base, or... Shall I stick a, you know, the the original Squire one on there? Let me know in the comments. Or if you've got a good name for the guitar, obviously when I put my brand names on the guitars, it's always Rob stuff. So if you've got a name for this bass, let me know, and that'll be the, the sort of name that goes under the the logo. But um, yeah, yeah. So I've got all the paint. Um, in terms of all the bits, they're pretty much all here. If there ain't anything that's missing, I've pretty much got everything anyway. So yeah, I'll sand it down. Fill it, sand it down, prep the paint. Um, I probably won't even bother with primer. Paint straight on. Um, put that decal on, and then yeah, uh, seal it all in with a bit of lacquer. Obviously, I'm gonna have this back down to bare wood. So this would just be bare maple. I may even stain the bare maple as well, but the the headstock there will be definitely matching paint. I'll get all these ferrules out. And oh yeah, there's no nuts, so I need to order a nut. So I believe. That'll probably be a jazz bass one, so I'll probably get a tusk nut on there. Yeah, there's definitely nothing in there. Um, yeah, that'll be a pretty cool video. So, yeah, let me know what you think to it in the comments below. Um, again, let me know if you can think of a name for it. Obviously, Robster, maybe something Jaguar bass. I don't know. Let me know. Comments below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Uh, set all your notifications to all so you can stay up to date on all the latest videos, especially watching this series. I'm also um, modding a, a Squire at the minute with P90 pickups, so plenty of cool videos to come on the channel. So, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace.